my grandma's cinnamon pecan rolls, a cup of hot coffee, Christmas music playing in the background, snuggled up in our PJs by the beautifully lit, fresh cut Christmas tree. This is how we do Christmas mornings. It's a tradition that we've had for years and it's one that I'm looking forward to passing on to our children. These rolls remind me of my childhood. Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve dinners were not complete if grandma's rolls weren't sitting in a basket at each end of the table. She would always make extra so that we could save a few to reheat on Christmas morning. Now that we live across the country, my grandma has shared her recipe with me and has given me permission to share it with all of you so that I may carry on her tradition with my family. We take these rolls to all of our holiday gatherings and they are always a hit. So I wanted to be sure to share this recipe with you just in time for Christmas morning. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sky, and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. Today's video is extra special. We're gonna be baking in the kitchen. I'm gonna share a couple of new arrivals from House and Home, and then I'm gonna do a little Q&A as I clean up and tidy up after uh, our delicious cinnamon pecan rolls come out of the oven. This video is so special because I'm sharing a recipe with all of you that is really special to me. So I hope that you'll enjoy it and that you will give this recipe a try. I am so excited. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here is what you will need. One box of Pillsbury Hot Roll Mix. Now, depending on where you live, this can actually be pretty hard to get a hold of. I purchased mine on Amazon, but back in Illinois, you could buy this at Kroger or Meyer. So Amazon is always a great last resort if you can't find it in stores. You'll also need one cup of hot water, two sticks of unsalted butter, or if you want to substitute with Earth Balance vegan butter, you can do that for a dairy-free option, and that's actually what we do, and they always turn out so delicious. You will also need some cooking spray, some corn syrup, brown sugar, and ground cinnamon, and you're going to need one egg and some chopped pecans. First, you're gonna follow the instructions on the back of your hot roll mix box. So you're actually just going to open it right up. You're gonna mix your flour mix with the yeast and you're gonna make sure that gets mixed up really, really well. Then you're gonna melt just a little bit of your butter in the microwave and you're gonna mix that with your egg. And once you have done that, you will combine everything together into a bowl and you'll mix it until it becomes kind of a sticky dough. Once you have your dough, you're going to lightly flour your surface. You can definitely just use your countertop for this if you'd like to. I actually have this pastry mat that was not rolled up properly, so it's not very flat. I had some things on either end just kind of trying to hold it down for me, but you're gonna continue to flour your dough until it's not very sticky anymore, and you're just gonna go ahead and knead the dough to get everything just nice and ready and get it into a ball. And then you're going to put your bowl right over top and you're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. While your dough is rising, you are gonna take some cooking spray and you're gonna lightly spray your nine by 13 inch pan. We're gonna combine a third a cup of melted butter 
a half a cup of brown sugar and one tablespoon of light corn syrup. You'll just mix that up really good and then you're actually just going to pour it onto the bottom of your cooking pan. And what you're doing here is you're actually creating the topping for your cinnamon rolls. So your cinnamon rolls are actually going to be baking upside down. And when they come out of the oven, we're gonna flip them over and there's just gonna be so much ooey gooey deliciousness on the top. And now we're going to add our pecans and a little bit of cinnamon. This is totally optional, but we prefer our cinnamon rolls extra cinnamony. So I just went in and sprinkled a little extra on top. After the dough rises once, you are going to punch it around. You're gonna put some flour on it and get it ready to roll it out. So you are going to roll it from corner to opposite corner so that you have a long and narrow dough. Every time I do this, it turns out a little bit different. I am not a professional baker, and even though I have made these at least a dozen times, my measurements come out a little bit different each time but roughly two feet long and maybe like a foot wide and you're going to melt a few tablespoons of butter and you're going to spread that out on the dough i was in a hurry and i don't know if it was just the pressure of filming and trying to get this finished for you guys but i totally goofed this part normally you would pour your melted butter over the dough and rub it out and then you would take your cinnamon and your sugar and kind of put it on over top. I mix everything together. It's okay if you do that. It just comes out pretty pasty. I probably should have made more to make them extra gooey on the inside, but honestly, they turned out great. So it's totally up to what you wanna do and how much of that cinnamon sugar gooeyness that you want on the inside. Once you have spread that throughout, you're gonna roll up the dough so that it's long and narrow. And then you're gonna cut it into roughly 24 slices. They are about one inch wide and I just use a knife to do this. Then you are going to place your rolls in your prepared dish. You're gonna cover them with a kitchen towel and let them rise for about 30 minutes. Occasionally, I'll have a little leftover cinnamon and sugar and I'll sprinkle it over the top of the rolls. This is technically going to be the bottom when they're all finished, but it adds just another delicious bite of cinnamon at the end, which is so good. So that is totally optional but we are gonna go ahead and let these rolls rise and clean up the kitchen and answer some of your questions that you guys gave me on Instagram and over here on YouTube. Okay, so the first question that I got was, did you used to have a nine to five job? That is such a great question, and I don't know that I've ever shared that on here. You guys, I have had many jobs in my past. I have worked full-time. I did have a 9-to-5 job. I was a chiropractic assistant, and I loved that job so much. I got to meet so many wonderful, amazing people and just establish relationships with so many just really, really sweet people, and I loved that job. I love chiropractic, anything chiropractic care. I'm a huge believer because it's been proven to help me so much, and so it's just fun to do something that you're passionate about. 
I also was a youth trainer. I taught some youth like active classes for a while. I was also a certified nurse's assistant and I did that for a couple of years in the um, ICU unit in a hospital back in Illinois. And then I became a stay-at-home mom and I stayed at home with the kiddos for a few years and then it eventually led me to where I am today. So next, somebody wanted to know what Chad does for work, which is kind of fun because we have never really talked about this on here. Chad is the director of operations for a restaurant here, and they actually have 11 locations that he oversees and um, is definitely in the day-to-day -day as well as does some work from home. And then of course, when he's not doing that, he is doing a lot of the behind the scenes work for house and home. The next question is how old are Chad and I? Chad is 30. He just turned 30 in October and I am 29. So we are actually about six months apart and we started dating when we were in eighth grade and we have been together ever since. I love this next one so much. What are your must have traditions for Christmas every year? Oh my goodness. Okay, so Christmas is one of my absolute favorite things in the whole entire world. I absolutely love just this season. I get so nostalgic and sentimental. I have so many great Christmas memories growing up and now having kids of my own, it is so magical and special to be able to experience everything through their eyes. So I would say that we've definitely added new traditions since becoming parents, but there are also some Christmas traditions that we have carried on from our childhood. Some of those being getting a Christmas tree from either a Christmas tree farm or cutting down our Christmas tree, just having a real tree. That is something that just speaks Christmas to me. I love the smell of a fresh cut Christmas tree. So that is a must. That's something I've been doing since I was just a little girl with my family. And it's something that I love to do with our kids too. Here in Charlotte, we have the Billy Graham Library, and they put on such an amazing Christmas experience. And so we take the kids every year. We do the horse and carriage ride. We visit the live nativity scene where the story of Christmas is being played over the speakers. And they have the live animals and the characters kind of playing out the scene as the story is being told. It is so sweet. They have the dairy barn where you can get Christmas cookies and hot cocoa and a story time for the kids. It's just such a sweet place and it just really brings you back to the true meaning of Christmas and we love it so much. We also love to go look at Christmas lights. We do this multiple times through the Christmas season, whether it's driving through our neighborhood or neighborhoods that are nearby. This year we went to the Charlotte Motor Speedway and that was really fun. It was a really, really, really long wait, about two and a half hours. So if you're local, I suggest going really early, but it was so fun to drive on the racetrack. The kids thought that was so cool and they really do put on a neat show. Another thing that we love to do is, of course, <laughs> we love to enjoy my grandma's cinnamon pecan rolls uh, on Christmas morning, just all gathered together, cozied up in our PJs. And our Christmas is a little bit different because we typically go to Illinois for Christmas, which is another tradition. We go and visit all of our family back in Illinois. And so we celebrate Christmas early with the kids. So Santa comes to our house early and we have just a day of all the fun Christmas things. And for us, that's actually coming up this Saturday. So we are really, really excited. But I'm so glad that somebody asked this question. I just absolutely love talking all things Christmas. So I hope you'll share your favorite family Christmas tradition down below. 
Okay, now our rules have risen and it is time to go ahead and put them in the oven. We are going to bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And you'll know they're done when they are light brown in color. While those are baking, I wanted to share a new arrival. I love this soap dish. It is made out of bamboo and it is so pretty the little insert can actually come out so you can wash it so easily but it's so cute we had a bunch of other new arrivals hit the site as well as this beautiful bakery sign that you see hanging in my kitchen we also have a pantry one and a hot cocoa one and some really good new arrivals that I can't wait for you guys to see so go and check those out I will have them all linked below but it's time to pull the rolls out of the oven. They are that golden brown color, so they are perfect and ready to go. You're gonna want to get a baking sheet and some oven mitts, and you are going to flip these rolls very carefully over, and you're gonna see all of that ooey gooey deliciousness just kind of drizzle over top. They look perfect. You want to make sure that you do this while they are hot, while they're freshly out of the oven. You can let them cool a little bit if you want before you start separating them, but I usually just take about two forks and I just kind of pull them apart. But they look divine. They tasted even better. And I am just so happy to share this recipe with you all. And I really hope that you'll let me know if you decide to make these. Okay friends, who have I convinced to bake these? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you have plans of giving this recipe a try. I really hope you will. I will have the recipe linked in the description below. The next video you can expect to see on my channel is our entryway transformation and I can't wait to share this with you all. It is truly an amazing transformation. So I hope you'll stick around, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more home and inspiration. I will see you guys next time.